Good day, my name is Tom Keller, a historian here at Old Sturbridge Village, and I'm here to talk a little bit today about the Farmer's Jubilee, the great festival in New England, namely Thanksgiving. In the, in, the, uh, in the 1890s, when she wrote the reminiscence of her long life, Lucy Larcom said that Thanksgiving and the Fourth of July were about the only holidays that they ever paid much attention to. Thanksgiving, of course, is a great feast, great family celebration, and it harkens back to the, the pilgrim mothers and fathers and the native people who had their uh, three-day feast in 1621. Of course, that little fact of history wasn't rediscovered until the 1840s, so, but even in the 1830s and before, uh, New Englanders made the connection between the early settlers and the native people around here. The, the holiday of Thanksgiving did not become a national holiday, however, until 1863. Decades before, in 1840, Sarah Josepha Hale, who was the editor of Godey's Ladies Book, an influential fashion magazine of the day, started a campaign to make Thanksgiving not just a New England holiday, but a national holiday. But it wasn't until 1863 that she was able to procure an interview with President Abraham Lincoln after the Battle of Gettysburg. And she persuaded Lincoln that it was very fitting that he proclaim a national day of Thanksgiving. And ever since, our presidents have proclaimed Thanksgiving as a national holiday.